Good morning, folks. Do we have a lineup today? Weather, earthquake watch, top science news, and a bit of detail on our star. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the dark patches down south. That's the coronal hole. Brighter spots to the north have no umbral cores and no solar flare risk right now. There have also been no Earth-directed CMEs. Let's take a peek at the flatlined X-ray flux chart here. That's those solar flares. And then next, let's go to the solar wind. Telemetry continues dropping intensity as we exit one coronal hole stream and await the next one. KP index falling out fast as well. Good to note that up top in blue, the phi angle currently has magnetic field streaming from Earth back to Sun, but we expect that to flip today and begin the earthquake watch. If you'll recall, yesterday we eyed the plasma filaments departing over the northwestern limb. Today they are at the limb and producing a gorgeous coronal cavity. Same electromagnetic forces holding up the solar tornadoes make the curved evacuation region in the corona. Filaments on the south are a bit more jumpy, but mostly for show as they don't have the courage to head out into space on their own just yet. Folks, all your wind maps will appear at the end again, but I wanted to note the continued threat in the southeastern U.S. as the northwest takes another line. Mediterranean storm system continues moving slowly while the Atlantic system will arrive at the UK and Ireland tonight. Deluge continuing down under and we'll come back to that in a moment. Cyclone in the Bay of Bengal heading at the east coast of the Indian subcontinent. And Argentina and Uruguay should have flash flood alerts along that convergence line. Let's come back to Australia where the water seems to be coming from above and below. Not really, it's just the inundation in such a short period and as you saw, it is going to continue. Awesome news out of the fall meeting. Building on their 2016 work, it is now proven that tornadoes form from the ground up. This shreds about 60% of tornado genesis science and implicates the global electric circuit stirring of accumulated charge in the ground into a release and return current to the ionosphere. Anyone remember when Bagashoff said tornadoes were electric? Up next, we're doing flyovers with LIDAR in Puerto Rico. It's part of the post-Maria analysis we began showing previously. Interesting here to see the recovery of the foliage, but also the fact that there is still recovery to go with the increased ground visibility from the sky through the leaves. Quick note as Hubble catches enormous gas stripping of a hot Neptune exoplanet. They say so much is being lost, the planet must actually be shrinking. There's more coming from the huge ALMA release, including simulation runs of how forming planets might have carved the disks. Want to note that this does not include the Hall effects, disk fields, or other electric or plasma universe formation concepts. Up next in our top story, cosmic jets are likely electromagnetically driven. As the electric current, magnetic fields, and electric fields indicate that the jets are indeed a current wrapped by those fields, and it is now said to account for the relativistic particle flows in those jets. Last but not least, face palm. Yes, organic growing takes more land, but that's their whole argument. Nothing about the chemicals and their effect on the environment, and of course, a little altered DNA and glyphosate never hurt anyone, right? Not cool, Chalmers. Five points from Gryffindor. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We are at the last day or two to get books out to the U.S. in order to arrive before the holiday. That's at otf.cells.com. We've got your wind maps, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.